To do any of my projects, first I needed a workbench. Not just any workbench, but a sturdy one. So I don't have any footage of me building it, so I will show you guys the tools I used to build the workbench, and I needed to waterproof my workbench, and I have a video of that, so I will show you. So hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you my drills, the tools, sorry, that I used to make my workbench. So this is a drill. This is what I used to make holes inside of the wood. This is the impactor. This is what I used to drill in uh, and the screws inside of those holes. I used I used this big yellow thing to make sure it was straight. I used this measuring tape to make sure it was the right length. I used this one to cut the two by sixes, but I couldn't cut it all the way because I think there's like something wrong with the blade or something just wrong with that. And then we went to Harbor Freight and we got this new uh, bad boy. It's nice circuit saw. And that will show you the screws. So today I'm gonna be showing you my workbench. So there's two, I mean four, um, four by fours. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then there's one right there. So nine, ten, two by sixes, and then there is two. So there's this one, that's the platform, and this one, three quarter inches. So these, this is my workbench, and those the tools I showed you are the are the things. I made this workbench. So I had the, so these are the accesses. So this is a four by four. This is a two by six. And this is the three quarter inch old plywood. So then I, um, I have, um, so like there, it's really sturdy. It's like you could, like here. I could barely move that thing. Here, let me get you a better angle. Let me get you a better angle. See how that's really sturdy. The reason why it's sturdy is because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pieces of plywood. So isn't that crazy? I just can't believe that. That's it's really sturdy. When there's an earthquake, I, this is the place I'm going to. So this is really sturdy. It's really good for everything. You can do your work here. Like just like this is really sturdy. It's really really sturdy. So thank you. That's my workbench. So these are the sample wood samples of my workbench. This is a two by six, and this is a four by four. Then, this top one right here, if you need this, this is a three quarter inch oak plywood. So all of these are oak ply, well, not all of them, but this looks like it's red. This is red, and this looks like, this looks like it's pale. This looks like ordinary, just all So this is already sawed in the half. I was sawing it with the saw. And then my dad just wanted to circuit saw it, so then we just gonna circuit saw it, I guess. So those are the, these are the sample woods, and that's it. So thanks. So I have an interesting fact to spread out to you guys. If you measure a four by four and a two by six, four by four comes out to a three and a half by three and a half, and a two by six comes out at one and a half by five and a half. Let me show you. Okay, so now I have a better angle. I can show you guys that a four by four is three and a half by a three and a half. So now if I get the two by six over here, you can see that if you get a 
two by six. You see that there's a one and a half by a five and a half. So that was the extra city fact I wanted to spread out to you guys. So thank you. Today we're gonna be using some Olympic water guard to waterproof my workbench. So it's already um so I just now need to pour it in. the thing we're going to be using today. So. And by the way, this stuff is great. Olympic water guard. This is for something if you're, um, like, have a workbench like me. Like, if you have, like, a lot of videos or, like, things you want to experiment on it, that's, like, Contains dry eyes and stuff. You would want to get that so you can, um, so it doesn't like seep through your uh, workbench. So, I'm just giving you advice if you want to or not. You don't have to. This water stuff. Works pretty good. I only have one layer of it, so. That should work pretty good. But, it actually didn't, so. I'm gonna be putting some, I think three layers or two layers? I don't know which one I should put. I'm gonna put two layers, I think so. Well, I already have like a thousand layers in here, but it's okay. It's gonna soak up. It's okay. I'm gonna go over the spots that you that you've been over a couple times. That doesn't, that doesn't mean you did a layer already, but still. Let me move this thing out of the way real quick. So now I got this half. I'm going to do this half now. So this half is what I'm going to do. So let me just drag this ball out of the way. So, the reason why I'm waterproofing this, like, a lot is because, like, when you waterproof it, when it dries out, it feels really smooth, too. So, like, it's smooth, it's waterproof, you don't have to deal with anything else, it just bubbles, you just have to wipe it. That's it, basically. You just have to wipe it off. It just bubbles. So this is treated wood and this is untreated wood. So today we're going to be putting water on it. So let me give you a closer shot. Okay, 
Okay, let me get the water. It's a little bit too much. See how it soaks in? Because it's not waterproof. Okay, I'm gonna rest off. See how it's bubbly? It's the waterproof is stopping it from um stopping it from going inside the the, the oak plywood. That's neat. Here's the stuff that I used for um the this and then this is not the, I didn't put any of this on here, but I did put this on here, my workbench. So you can see that, that oops, this is not soaking in, it's just bubbly. So that's it actually. So you can see this part again. This is just soaks, all soaked in. So hope you guys enjoyed my videos I, I made on my workbench i'll be making some future videos like taking apart stuff and you can send me broken stuff that i could take apart or fix so there's link there's going to be a link in my description link in the description of my email so you can send me uh, something and i i will reply back and uh in like a few weeks or a few days so, stay independent.